Hi, everybody. Um, there's been a lot of talk about these um, inexpensive chargers that are available on the, uh, eBay. The Duo Cedar, I believe it's what it's called, this uh, model right here. And I picked up one since my uh, portable one has uh, died on me. Um, I wanted to run through the specs and a lot of concern about how much amperage is being pulled on the 110 circuit. Now looking at the unit itself, there's some specs on the back I'd like to uh, share with everyone. I don't know if you can make that out or not, but it's uh, pretty... Uh, Now that's a lot clearer, I think you can make that out. Uh, the, uh, it's pretty much saying that there's um, six, uh, 16 amps available on the um, 110 um, uh, voltage and uh, 240 voltage. So what I'm going to do is I've uh, connected my uh, amp meter. I picked up a unit uh, that uh, I want to test exactly how much current is being drawn on a unit. Now, it comes standard with this um, 240-volt uh, 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 20 amp plug. And I've got this adapter made up here that uh, also converts it to a 110 uh, regular voltage and household plug. So we'll connect that up right now. Yeah, there we have it, and um, I'm going to plug it into the uh, outlet wall right now. Now there's power there, and the unit is in the ready mode. And what I'm going to do is to make sure I got the right circuits. We're going to go over to the circuit uh, box here, which I prepared. Um, I've um, picked up this uh, energy monitor. This one here. Yeah, it's a called FRG and it uh, does record a certain amount of history on it and uh, you can enter costs and all that to 20 or 110 volts. Now it comes on with these uh, clamp-on sensors here that you can see inside the box. And I have one originally uh, on the uh, 220 circuit uh, breaker at the top which runs my household uh, uh, home uh, yeah, EVSE. And now what I've done, I've got the other circuit on the bottom, the 110 volt down here. And I've attached one of the clip monitors onto that circuit so that we can measure it. Now the other one on the top, the 220 volt is turned off. They're both turned off. Now we're just going to check we got the right circuit here, so we're going to see we got power to the unit. So we are on the right circuit. I'm going to turn it back on and we'll check and see what the monitor shows for amperage. So let's turn this puppy on here. Okay, now let's plug it in and see what happens here. It's a regular fan uh, connection, you can hear it's active in there. Now we have a blue light, but it's me just about to connect. It's charging, okay. Now, let's see what the energy monitor shows us.
No, it's indicating 1.429 kilowatt hours. I imagine... Uh, I don't know exactly how it translates into amperage, but um, there's no other function here other way other than kilowatt hours. So 1.436 now. So it does bounce back and forth, and that's on the 110 circuit. I'll have to do a conversion to find out what the exact uh, numbers work out to. But that's on the 110 circuit with this unit here. And um, with the converter plug, that's uh, an adapter that fits into the 110 there. So we'll leave it at that. And uh, I am on a 15 amp circuit breaker. You can't make it out. No, it's too dark. But uh, it is a 15 amp circuit breaker there. So anyway, I'll um, do a conversion and see what we can figure out to what the amperage is. And uh, we'll follow up from there. Thanks for watching.